I guess the thing about many 70s and 60s muscle cars is that most of them didn't have air conditioning. And in this day and age, components are readily available and there's really no reason, when you've got an engine making enormous horsepower, why you can't have air conditioning in the car. Obviously, you need to find the space to fit it. And in an engine like this, there's a lot of fabricated components. We've got a water pump remote mounted right down the bottom of the engine bay. Obviously, this enormous blower drive system with a big belt. We've got a remote thermostat housing here. So down the bottom here, we've got our air conditioning compressor. And we have CNC machined a beautiful solid mounting plate, which goes onto the engine plate. Originally, the fuel pump which is an Enderley ADA pump, was located in this position. And we've simply dropped that further down in the engine bay. So the belt system will run the air conditioner up around the alternator and back down the crank. It will be adjusted by the alternator, the tension on the belt. We've got plenty of room to all moving components around between the belt, the pulleys, and obviously the fuel pump drive. There's enough room for the belt between the radiator shroud and the other components.